Welcome back to Detroit Productions. All right, we got another uh, Detroit Gaming News Roundup for the month of May 2018. Over here, uh, I got with me Storm. What's up? I got Noct, first time joining us. Hi, everyone. How you doing? All right. So, let's jump right into it, I guess. Uh, go ahead, Storm. Take it away. I, with pleasure. Of course, everybody... Uh, Xbox first uh, their sequel zombie game State of Decay 2 officially released today and so far some people is off to a bad start some people are enjoying it but the glitches and bugs from the first one may have transferred over to the second one what do you guys have to say about it all right uh, so um, real quick um, a lot of people are just being extremely uh, stingy and picky, um, smashing on it. I don't really care too much about Metacritic. Most uh, major uh, reviewers have given it 6 to 7s, which is just okay. Like, it's nothing grand, but it's okay. Um, in any case, though, it's a $30 game. It has Game Pass, which allows you to get it for $10. And... Um, for everything that offers, I would say uh, overall it's not as bad as the uh, Sea of Thieves uh, fuck up. <laughs> oh, part of my French. <laughs> I mean, Sea of Thieves, sixty dollars, barely any content, and that's unforgivable. Like sure. I not. Well. As I was kind of stating uh, a little bit earlier, uh, my belief is is that unlike Sea of Thieves, where you have a multiplayer immersive open world environment, you got all sorts of things going on. In a multiplayer game, you can have fun. You can actually go with some friends and actually have some fun with it. Maybe not as much as you want, but just enough. Where with this State of Decay game, they tried to take the approach and a era of increase immersive world games. I mean, you got games from Witcher to Halo to to Terra to Defiance. You got all these games that are coming out that are, their worlds are so big. You're trying to compete with these, you know, gaming titans. Um, Save the K just came in at the wrong time with this. They should have took some more time to work on their system. They should have did try and change it up a lot more than what they used to have it. That's my personal belief. So I hate to say this, but the reviews that they're getting I think are accurate. Everything from I mean not Metacritic critic. I, I, I I'm a little hesitant to agree with Metacritic's opinion, but things from Game Informer to PC gamers to most of the massive uh, what's the best way I'm going to say this? Criticizing IDN people, that's the best way for me to say this, <laughs> is, is, the fact is, is that I agree. The six and sevens they got are accurate, but Metacritic's opinion on it being worse than Sea Thieves is just a little off. You're, you're, you're going too hard on its bugs, and you're not paying attention to the rest of the game. If you couldn't play it, then so be it, but that's not just you. You got people like IGN, Game Informer, PlayStation.org. You got people from all over these areas that were able to play the game and agree that they would give it a 6, maybe a 7, but no higher. So, I hate to say this, but with Metacritic's opinion, I just can't agree with it. I do agree, however, with 6 and 7s. But, I, I'll, I say one thing about this Metacritic score. It was, it was tied, the score was tied with Sea of Thieves until the user ratings, like actual people who went out and bought the game, ratings got posted, and that what brought it down. Because when Sea of Thieves first won America, it was at 72, then it dropped to a 69, and when the users started to get on that, that thing dropped to a 68. All right. God damn. Boy. I was like, the great words, this game, uh, the this great game words. Was... 
That game was so hyped up, it was not even funny. Yeah. Okay, but guys, but we're getting sidetracked. All right, sorry, sorry. All right, on to our, our next topic. Inside X Five had their episode three. Overall, uh, it was it was pretty mediocre. Like, uh, one thing I don't get about people, they expect like Xbox to drop news before E three. Like, they talked about. Uh, that control that they made for people that are disabled who have a hard time playing video games than what they used to, which is good on them, which is good on them. But you cannot have a good news about Xbox without having a bad news. Uh, apparently, uh, well, I recently found this out that Xbox could give your information to their stockholders. Nani. Like, <laughs> like what you, what you're what you're playing, what you're basically information that sh someone should keep should be kept private. Like, it basically the connect is inside the Xbox now. Yeah, about that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And they showed off a new Halo, which is a David Buster arcade game. No. If anything, if I could say something about that, if I want to go play an arcade game, I'll go to the Peteers. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I can watch a movie after all that. Yeah. And and they say PlayStation have freaking movie games. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, hopefully we'll see Halo 6, because uh, Microsoft just needs something. And apparently there's actually rumors going around that Crackdown 3 might get delayed until 2019. Oh god, it's already, that's already a running gag by now. <laughs> dude, dude, a lot of people say if this rumor is true, Xbox people will be on Suicide Watch. Oh god. I would I would have to agree with that statement. I would have to agree with that statement because they're getting no games that are worth a win. They are. They need something. Otherwise, that, Xbox is going to be like, "Where's all our players?" Well, they've either gone to the next world or they decided we're going to Nintendo and Sony. Goodbye, guys. Much. Come here, fishy. So, moving on past that on Xbox and everything, PlayStation, April's game of the year, with more sales than most games in the future or in the past. Woo! What are we looking at here? God of War. My, my bad, my controller died. <laughs> oh. because, because I was in the middle of telling not they do have games, they got that backward compatibility games, and they also got Black Panther the movie as an exclusive in their words. Again though, Black Panther wasn't the best movie out there. I hate to say this, but I found I found Infinity War, Infinity War a lot more entertaining than Black Panther. No offense to the anyone thinking I was racial or anything, it wasn't being racial, I was just stating, you know, I enjoyed Affinity War more than I enjoyed Black Panther because the story for Black Panther was just... Uh, shots fired. Well... Shots fired. I, I, I could... I could agree, I could agree with that because the Affinity War was built up for 10 years leading up to this moment. Like, we watched like how many Marvel movies to get to this point? Quite a oh, few. Let's see. We had, <laughs> we had the Hulks. We had Thor. We had Captain America. Uh, we had quite, we had Iron Man. Iron Man Two. Yeah, you're right. We had quite a few Marvel movies getting up there. Unlike DC in their uh, Justice League. Uh. Uh, we, we don't speak about that. We're we're crossing the border. We don't we don't speak about that. 
<laughs> Alright, <laughs> all right, how we get it, On to our next topic. This past weekend, uh, Square, ne Square Enix has invited a slick few of YouTubers to be the first ever to play Kino Hearts 3 before everybody else in the world. I wish I could have been part of that. Lucky bastard. Mm. Uh, you and Indeed. me both. Indeed. That luck. And, and the, I seen some of the gameplay, I don't know if you have not. I have not yet. I've been trying to keep uh, myself fresh to it so that when it does come out and I can play it. Oh, I'm not going to enjoy it. Now it's all good. They they were uh they only showed off gameplay. They were uh, they were not allowed to show cutscenes. Alright. And mm. and for the for them recording the camera would have to the camera had to be a over the shoulder look. Oh. But still, what I saw, the game is gonna be worth the wait. Oh, I hope so. I mean, we've been waiting for what four plus years now. <sighs> <laughs> nah, others, others would say, "Oh, we've been waiting ten years." I'm like, "You're a fucking liar." <laughs> <laughs> it's been long. Right. It has felt like ten years, but not quite. <laughs> no, nah, you you know what felt long? How long it took Final Fantasy 15 to finally come out? Then come at me how long? Because that uh, game was originally canceled before they brought it back. I mean, he changed uh, titles and everything during its development hell. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, some news from the premiere event that our gracious Tetsuya Nomura has revealed. He said, uh, the release date for Kino City will come out early June. So we're like less than three weeks from June and and like two weeks from E3. So we might get the release day at E3 or at their orchestra event that's at June 9th. It'd be very nice to see it to tell you the truth. Yep. Give me that collector's edition. <laughs> I will go out and buy it real quick. So, moving right. past that. <laughs> alright, alright, on to our next one. April's MPD has dropped, and the number one console that won April's MPD, once again, the PS4 has taken the gold. God of War. Yeah. Yep. God of War is at one. number one of selling game. And apparently, the PlayStation 4 have broke records from this MPD. They said, I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, it said the PlayStation 4 software dollar sales in April 2018 set an all-time high for any platform since tracking began in 1995. The original person, the original console that had that record was the 360 in April 2008. That is very surprising, and I am very, very glad. Shoot, you wanna, you wanna know what's surprising? What's Freaking up? Nintendo, Nintendo Labo is, is number three on the charts. Nani? Nani agreed. <laughs> oh shit. Excuse the language to the nah, viewers. That was actually See, very. Uh, this, that, that is. This, no, uh, num not number three, number four. This is exactly why I said Nintendo could slap their logo on anything and people will still buy that crap. <laughs> 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 uh, freaking cardboard! It is hey, freaking cardboard. To say the least, though, Nintendo does have some great history. You got everything from the Zelda series to the Super Smash Brothers to Mario. You, you got you got some great series in their in their little city. Hey, you even got Pokemon. And I get okay. it. Some people aren't a huge fan of it, but you know what? If it's true that they're making a Nintendo Switch Pokemon RPG, I'm definitely gonna be buying a Nintendo they're, Switch they're, they're just to play that. Yeah, they're good. They're gonna win that. that. They're gonna win that most from that alone. They shoot. They don't even need Smash Bros. Pokemon been going around for 
don't at this point probably more than Digimon. Oh, definitely. But see, the thing is that makes the worst part about Nintendo between Sony and Xbox is that it was a latecomer to the multiplayer systems, online multiplayer systems. True. They true. They tried to go with a movement system before going into the multiplayer system, where Sony and Xbox, they haven't even begun to go into the movement system. I mean, we barely got, what, cameras and stuff, like, what, a couple of years back? Nintendo's been yeah. working on that since we? At, to say the least, Nintendo should do the same thing Sony and Xbox were doing. I mean, give it. It was exclusive items that only Nintendo had, but... With this upcoming game, this Pokemon RPG game, I really hope the multiplayer system really works out well because if it does, take my money. Sure, That's what do you think answer. Smash up Pokemon will come out? They're gonna charge you for to play online and Smash definitely, and they go rake in that money. But it would be worth it to the gamers. Yeah, yeah, it will. I judging how well God of War did for April, how you think Spider Man gonna do when it comes out? What do you guys think? Will it beat God of War sales or come close to it? Seeing how Spider-Man in the past has always been... Like, when it was for Nintendo, it wasn't exactly uh, open world, but as it got into bigger, like, genres and consoles at its time, it started becoming open world, and they got experience with open world, so my belief is is that it's going to be really well received. If anything, it'll probably be second to God of War, just because God of War is a game that everyone enjoys the lore is amazing you know but spider-man it's just some you know a marvel get it marvels are amazing but if anything i could see spider-man being second place maybe not maybe not mvp but i could definitely see it being second place yeah uh what do you think fire mm, i can uh, kind of agree with that i mean Spider-Man, we're hyped for it because it's Spider-Man. But at the same time, you know, Spider-Man has definitely has had already his, um, their, his fair share of titles. And, um, yeah, I can see some people just actually not getting hyped at all um, for it. Um, saying, like, here we go, yet again, another Spider-Man game. Yeah. Um, the reason why it has caused so much, um, you know, a hype is because it's a different studio. And it truly does seem to try and bring something new. <laughs> because like, as soon as this Spider-Man game come out, people gonna compare it to the old Spider-Man games. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, it's, it's those games they had a good track record. It's been getting comparisons to um, uh, Spider-Man 2 back back from the PS2. Yeah, oh. that was a good game for its time yeah, it too. Was. Yeah, yeah, it was. But I have faith in Insomniac. They did very well when it came to the Ratchet and Clank series. So I have faith in them when it comes to the Spider-Man game. What i seen so far, what Game Informer have released for their coverage for Spider-Man. I can't wait to see the final build of it because all that was just alpha footage and stuff. But... I'm truly excited for it. I can agree with that. Indeed. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to go on to our final topics of the day. Apparently today uh, it was announced that the PS4 is on the last cycle for it before the PS5 eventually come out. Uh, Sony already said at this E3 they would not reveal any hardware so we won't see anything news regarding for the PS5 that will most likely be for next year but basically the games that they're gonna close close off for the PS4 is gonna be Ghost of Tsushima The Last of Us Part 2 definitely uh, Death Stranding Days Gone and and Spider-Man, I guess. And also forget that they've already stated that they will be releasing a new gameplay trailer for Anthem. So yes. that's yes. already been announced, and as most people know, Anthem has been pushed back to next year, 
but it's still yeah. a game worthwhile waiting for. And to be able to see yeah. new gameplay footage of it would be quite amazing. Um, yes. Now, with The Last of Us 2 and the... Uh, with The Last of Us 2 and the... Uh, Ghost of Tsushima? Ghost of Tsushima, thank you. I was trying to remember how to say Tsushima. <laughs> if I had to say anything, those are two games I cannot wait for, especially among them all. I cannot wait for. I cannot wait for Last of Us 2. I will be platinuming that game like I platinumed the first one. And Ghost of Tsushima, from what I've heard, it's like Assassin's Creed, but it's like Souls based. So I'm just like. I am just like. Huh. Boy. Hmm. Rubbing my beard here. Hmm. I cannot wait. Oh, you, got <laughs> you know? Do you, you wanna know what the funny thing is? Kojima been going on Twitter teasing his freaking game Death Stranding. He low key been oh. like posting pictures of him working on it. I'm like, what are you doing, man? <laughs> like, he got something big for E3. He got something big. He needs to. He needs to. He needs to give us just a little bit more info, please. You're killing us with this, with the secret stuff. <laughs> I, I just want to see gameplay. I, I want to see how this game performs. I, I want to see how it plays because D said like the game will run at 60 frames per second. Oh, that would be amazing, especially on a PS4 with a pro. Mm, that would be so amazing. Oh, uh, give me that game. Please. Now. So, but, but in their statement, they did say they will focus more on first-party games. Like, they will do new first-party games. So, god dang. So, they're going to be... Uh, so, apparently, uh, their IPs for this generation, the ones that have been doing really big numbers and sales... Apparently, they're, they're going to get sequels in the future down the line, and they're going to do some new IPs. Microsoft. Sony is getting ready for the PS5. Uh, I'm sorry to say about Final Fantasy VII Remake. You're, you're officially now going to become a PS5 title. Like, I don't see you coming for the PS4 anymore. Yeah, I don't see it either. Like, we haven't heard anything from you since 2015. Damn, sometimes I keep like, forgetting how long it's been. Like, yeah, I it get was it. announced like, what, a couple years ago, and now we're still waiting, and they, and from what I've heard, and what I've read on Reddit and many other websites, is that they restarted it. They restarted the yeah. entire program for it, because of the fact yeah. was, was that the people who were originally creating it screwed up! Uh-huh. Boy. I was just like, excuse me? You might as well just bring out Igni's philosophy for us. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I could kind of see, like, they're, uh, when they shift gears from Final Fantasy to fin to start working on Kinar 3 more to get that game out. I could kind of see that also be part of the reason. But... In a way, I kind of I kind of see it as a good thing because wasn't the original idea of Final Fantasy VII was gonna be episodic, like they were gonna release episodes like in certain time periods and stuff like that. Because, because the game because they were remaking Final Fantasy VII from the ground up and the game was gonna be too big to be on one CD. Uh, yeah, there was, uh, there were rumors that they were going to be breaking it up in episodes, actually. Uh, to be honest with you, I wouldn't love to see that. I mean, that would just... It would just be like a money grab, if anything, in my eyes. But, uh... If it, if it meant that we would get Final Fantasy VII earlier, I, I would do it. Mm. You know, if it meant that we could get it earlier so we could actually have a game that is well-loved and is a godly game, then I would agree to letting it break up in episodes. Uh, agreed. Or may, uh, probably, probably now they probably found a way for to put all of it in one CD, maybe, or when they do like a solid copy of the game, there will be two discs in it like how they did back in the day. 
I, I'm just saying, I want to see Sephiroth in that new freaking engine. I, I want to see, like, give me, give me that one wing angel theme. And I'm like, happy days. <laughs> That's my answer. Happy days. <laughs> For fan service, show me Tifa. That's all I want. That's fan service for me, sir. Oh god. <laughs> hey, fire, you would think about it too. Don't don't, don't try lie. to throw me. Don't try don't to throw lie. me under the bus. I haven't um, said anything. <laughs> mm -hmm. Your silence oh, yeah. says it all. You that can't prove anything. That speaks volumes. <laughs> you can't prove anything. <laughs> all right. Uh, so moving on right. past that, predictions right. at E3. Yes. Mm. All right. We're gonna. All right. We're gonna break off in category: Nintendo, Xbox, and PlayStation. Let's start with Nintendo first. I'm seeing at least a possible. Possible alpha gameplay of that Pokemon RPG, and we'll definitely see gameplay of Super Smash Brothers. I second that. Yeah, I see for Smash Brothers, they're gonna bring in either Banjo Kazooie as a new character, or hmm, let, me, let me see, what other character? What? Uh, uh, we already know like the the link from Breath of the Wild is gonna be in there because from that reveal for Smash Bros That link shadow looks like his Breath of the Wild look. I say I say Sora from Kingdom Hearts He gonna be in it and Banjo Kazooie or Banjo Kazooie because a while back Xbox did say they will let Nintendo use Banjo and Kazooie for their Smash Brothers huh. All right no, I, I could possibly see that, but I'm thinking if they're gonna make any new characters, it more likely will be uh, more mainstream base. Magic Kazooie hasn't had a remake in years, if anything. So, yeah, I was gonna say probably like this. Or, or how about this? They were probably throwing one of their arms character into Smash Brothers. I could see that. Yeah, because they already got the Splatoon kids in it, so why not ARMS? That should be very interesting to see Splatoon characters in it. Yeah, I'm curious how this, I'm curious how the Smash Brothers one gonna look, because a lot of people were saying that it's probably just a reboot from the old Smash Brothers and not a totally new Smash Brothers. From what I hear, uh, there's gonna be even tournament-based events going on during its time to give people special ooh. skins that you can't get anywhere else. But, ooh. again, those are just things that are being said on Reddit, and things that are being spread. And Reddit's not known for giving all of its best info with its rumors. That is true. But, some can be true at times. So, if we're gonna see that, I wouldn't mind. Yep. Uh, I have to say, that Nintendo make me want to get a Nintendo Switch, no lie. They are no, make me want to Yeah, you're not alone on that one. Although I probably would wait until it's just a little bit lower in price. Yeah, not what it's exactly. currently sitting at. Mm -hmm. Alright. Now for Xbox. Uh, I'm guessing a sneak peek at Halo 6. Definitely. Hmm... I would probably mm, probably Gears of War, probably a new Gears because they're uh, we already know uh, their next Forza Horizon coming out this year because they got their Halo Gears and Forza, Halo Gears and Forza. But all right, but for a new, I, I want to see a new freaking IP. At least just one, just one freaking new IP. We'll see. Um, hopefully they do. Though, I wouldn't mind if Valve fi found it in their heart to go plus ultra, go beyond, and finally make Left 4 Dead 3. But Valve uh, has a problem that they don't see past two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be honest, I, I, I can't see I can't see that happening 
uh, unless they do like a like a re a, a remaster like a remake for the freaking Last of Us series, I don't see them making a number three. Like, uh, like in like in graphic wise to this standard, it would probably it would probably still sell because it would look so good. But I so not say Halo Six. I say a new Gears. I I want to say Crackdown, but yeah, I don't but, see that happening this year. Yeah, if the rumor is true that it's coming out in 2019, I, I I'm not even gonna laugh. I'm just gonna that have an Xbox. I'm not talking about those fanboys. No, I'm talking about the true Xbox guys that want better for Xbox. I'm gonna feel bad for them. Alright, on to PlayStation. Definitely a Last of Us 2 release date. Uh, definitely a new gameplay trailer for Anthem. Ghost of Tsutomi will definitely probably see some alpha gameplay. Uh, possibly a release date on Kingdom Hearts. Anyone? Yes. Thoughts? I, 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 don't, uh, I don't believe it will be revealed as Sony press conference that Square Enix is having their own, but for the month for Kinar's coming out, I say September. Alright. Uh, for Last of Us, I definitely know it's probably, if they're gonna really state it, they'll definitely be somewhere around October like it did last time around. October, November. Mm. You could yeah. definitely see that. Yeah, I can. But, uh, for Sony conference, I want to know if the rumor for Devil May, Devil May Cry 5 is real. That, we shall see that. that, but I doubt I it. Mean, the cells are, I, I, I mean, the cells were amazing for its remake collection system for PlayStation. You know, that, that was some good cells, you know, but that was just a money grab. They needed the money, you know? They're, they're making something, but I, I'm not the thinking of Devil May Cry 5. Yeah, I'm well, not seeing that Devil May Cry. Well, the rumor is that not this Virgil and Dante are gonna be working together. In this. I, I'm curious. I'm curious to see how that works, and also for them to explain how Virgil is back. And apparently, the rumor also said that Devil May Cry 5 will be a PlayStation 4 exclusive. So I'm, so I'm curious how would that work? We're getting all the exclusives, that's how it is. And that's how it should be. <laughs> Single player is not dead. Hell no, no it's, it's not. definitely not dead. EA's fucking quote is just kill yourself. <laughs> Please. Hey, EA is trying to redeem themselves on that Star Wars. Hopefully they can win Anthem. Hopefully they can win Anthem. From what I'm seeing, I'm gonna say yes, it will. But again, don't sing to the fat lady. I, I'm not gonna hold you to it because you've been doing your research, and I believe I believe what you're saying. Not. I just need to see. I, I just need to see a proper gameplay. I just need a proper gameplay. This E3, we should be getting some ge uh, gameplay footage, which would be nice. They did state that they would do that. If they, if they give us that, then us three plus another will be rolling around the freaking world, <laughs> flying yeah, in the I'll air. Be, and be, <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be playing that game on stop. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. I, will, I, will literally, I will literally record myself throwing my Destiny 2 out the window since this is supposed to be the Destiny killer. Oh, I agree with that. Except I bought mine digitally, so I can't throw mine out the window. I can just erase it and never look at it again. No, you, you just be like, I'm gonna throw my PS4 out the window. Also, they're like, do you just throw your PS4? I'm like, nah, I already transfer everything except for Destiny <laughs> to my new one. <laughs> look, I got I got an Anthem custom PS4. Oh, if they if they release a collector's edition, I'll be getting that collector's edition. But if they release it as a PS4 collector's edition, yeah, sorry, that's that's all me. That is all, all right. me. 
I I would not blame you. I would not blame. I'll just be like, now that's tight. Now that now that's tight. So there's our predictions for E3. Anything else we missed? I believe that that should be way more than enough, though it seems Storm. Yeah. You have something else to add? Uh, just a little thing. Black Ops 4 got revealed. Don't really care. No single player. I'm out. Pre-orders are already in the PlayStation Store. Not interested any former way. Yep. I love Treyarch. I love how they do it. I'm interested, but at the same time, um... It's just Something's to holding you back. Something's uh, uh, holding you back. Well, the campaign, man. Uh, taking it out. I feel like that's a big no-no. That's, that's, that's all, that's all I'm gonna say. Well, uh, I'll say this. Maybe... In the probably later down the line, if I see that it improves, maybe I'll buy it. Because out all the Call of Duties, I never pre-order one or I, or I never buy a Call of Duty day one. I always catch it later down the line. So I'll throw this in, I guess, the maybe pile because I was very surprised they. Did it show any of the DLC, I believe? Which was surprising. Yeah, no DLC content, just pure zombies, the Battle Royale PvP. I mean, it seems interesting alone, but I would probably wait until it's on sale. Because Fortnite, Fortnite still, you know, people are talking about how Fortnite was dying, it was, it was getting stale. But look at this, literally less than... Less than a week after that statement, Fortnite's still going strong, it's still getting newer content, people are still enjoying it like no tomorrow. But Black Ops 4, I just, I just can't see it going as strong as Fortnite did. Are we getting like a H1Z1 battle royale? Yeah, I'm I'm not into it. I, I can't see that going anywhere. Just because of pure fact, yeah, it's realistic. but. The reason people like Fortnite so much is that it's childish, and it's it it, it it goes to their it goes to their childish soul, you know. Yeah. Where well, with HD World One, I I can see a lot of sweats go into that game because yeah. of the realism of it. Yeah. Well, I'm downloading the beta just to see how it is. The beta is available today on the PS4. If you guys want to give it a try, um, go for it. As well. Can't forget that. Yep. Uh, right. I think that's wrap up for the news coverage for the month of May. I like to thank everybody for joining, uh, for listening. I like to thank the panel members for giving their their two cents on the news. Anytime. Anytime at all. Right. We have to do this again sometime. Mm, We're. Definitely. The next, the next uh, Detroit round of video will be during E3 week. Uh, each of uh, the members will watch all the press conferences. Then we will all get get together and give our review of what we see. I can agree with that. I'll be definitely watching it. I was planning on going, but <laughs> uh, getting out there is a little different at the moment. Someday. Yeah. Someday. Someday. Sometimes it's nice to be able to get Oh, we go with some damn Detroit t-shirts. <laughs> t-shirts. I then. But that's it, members. That's the coverage for May 2018. We will be back. Um, definitely uh, looking forward for it. In any uh, case, yeah. this has been Fire. This has been Storm. This has been Knocked. We'll catch you on the next time, members. Have a good one. Peace.